Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. So this is my global action plan. Um, the title is Addressing the Problem of Electronic Waste in Russia. And first, I will start with... Oh, no, I won't. Okay, I'll do this one. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so why did I choose to do this? So first of all, um, I believe that the... We must like protect Earth because it's our home planet, and um, in order to have a bright future for humanity, we need to take care of environment and make sure we get rid of all the wastes the, that we have, like that we produce by all the human-related activities. And also, I am um, really like I'm really passionate about the world of science and technology. And working with electronics for me uh, should be a really great experience. I really hope that I will learn a lot by this. So that's why I decided to choose this project. And I will take, I will do it in Russia because that's where I'm from. And like I know I will be there around like for sure. So like to provide some context, this is the map of Russia and. Uh, this is the like this map indicates the population density in the country. So you can see that the most populated areas are Moscow, which has a population of 12 million people, with the population of the whole country 150 million people. And the second most populated city is St. Petersburg, that has uh, 5 million people. Um, it is important for my project because. Um, the more people there are in a place, the more electronics there are, so the more waste is produced there. So I need to focus on the most populated areas to do my project on. So um, there's some background information about e-waste. So what is e-waste? Basically, it's um, any type of household or business devices that contain um, electric circuit or any other types of electronic components and it could be anything like this slide this picture provides um, like what is the electronics like what can be waste so it could be used computers monitors cell phones cameras like anything and why why is it important uh, why is it important to uh, recycle it uh, E-waste contains a lot of hazardous materials. So, for example, one cell phone contains about 40 elements of the periodic table, which is a third of it, and only 17 of them can be recycled to percentage of 95. So it means that the majority of the elements on your cell phone cannot be recycled in like easy ways, so they need special treatment. And the... How much you waste is there? Um, it's really e difficult to say the exact amount because a lot of it is not accountable for. But um, the two countries that make the most e waste are United States and China. United States uh, pro uh, produces about 9.5 million tons per year, and China 7.3 million tons, which is a huge amount. And uh, since I'm doing my project in Russia, um, Russia is fourth uh, in the world in producing e-waste, and it produces 1.5 million tons per year. But um, unlike with like uh, states in China, there is almost nothing that is done about it. So uh, like it just stays there and really like just contaminates the world. And also. An important thing is uh, in, uh, there is an exponential increase in the amount of e-waste because every year there is more and more devices that are out. So people buy all those like new cool gadgets and phones and just throw away their old ones. So on this graph you can see that the amount of e-waste always increases. Okay, so my goal 
is to, first of all, to set up efficient collection stations in Moscow. So I have contacted electronic stores in Moscow and asked them if they would be okay if I set up stations that would collect e-waste there. So um, I, I need to s figure out some logistical issues for that because um, I need to understand what, how to transport the waste after I collect it there and where to store it. And after I would do that, I would separate into separate, like, several groups, which I will talk about later. And uh, um, my second goal is to run a campaign that changes the mindset of population in, of Russia. So basically I would want to get some, like, create some videos and posters and post on like online, like some community forums, uh, make some uh, factual based uh, information like to raise awareness about this issue, to make sure that people understand that when they buy a new phone they and just throw away the, the previous one, they contaminate the earth and it's just not, really not good. And my third goal is to expand to other major cities. So hopefully I will learn some lessons from the stations that I will organize in Moscow. And then I would bring those lessons, like bring that my experience to other cities and make sure like everyone has an ability, like an opportunity to recycle their electronics. So this is where I came like this third idea of those stations came from. This like this is a picture of Media Market, which is a huge electronic store in Europe. And what they did in Russia like a couple of years ago, they started this campaign of collecting batteries. And it was very successful. They even got like a couple awards from the government. So I would like to do something similar, but uh, this store focused only on collecting batteries, and I would like to uh, focus more on like any types of electronics. And after I would collect those, uh, I would separate them into three different groups. So first of all, it's the functional devices that can be donated. So for example, if somebody brings an old computer that um, that they just don't use anymore, but it's still functional. I would give it to some school in some poor community that has doesn't have access to computers. And the second group is devices with functional parts. So if the device has some like transistors or anything that are still useful, I would separate those and either donate them to some school tech clubs that are interested in making their own electronics, or um, I will talk about this later, but I will um, create a website that sells those parts for people who are interested in creating, in making their own electronics. And the third uh, category is devices that are to be recycled. So all the leftovers from the second group and devices that are just like not useful at all. Uh, I would just recycle them. I have contacted a recycling station in Moscow that has that specializes on recycling electronics. So they do it like very environmentally friendly way. So it's good. And um, this is my timeline. So next year, like this summer, I'm going to meet people from this recycling station and the electronics store to discuss all the opportunities and all the conditions. And also I would like to start the uh, creating the advertisement campaign. So I would want to contact some media art experts to create those videos and posters so I can uh, raise this awareness about this topic. And um, in the fall, I'm going to go to university in Canada. So I will not be in Russia to continue working on this project. So um, it will be a great opportunity to uh, do my research about all this electronics 
um, I'm most likely going to university, university of Toronto for computer science. So um, it will be a great opportunity to learn about the electronics and make sure I do the right thing with them. And also, it will help me build that website that I was talking about to sell those parts. And then. In the winter, in the, during the winter break, um, I'm hoping that I will have the advertisement campaign ready so I can prepare those stations and open them uh, at the same time I start the campaign. So people who have seen like those videos and these posters and who want to donate those electronics, not donate, to bring them to recycle, um, so they can so they have ac access to those stations. And then after the winter break is done, I will come back to Canada, so I won't really be able to do anything, so I'll just monitor what's happening and make sure everything goes smoothly. I will probably have to leave someone in charge there. Yeah, and uh, this will happen like through both year two and three because like I will be in Russia and in Canada all the time, so it will be just making sure everything goes smoothly these two years. And then, uh, starting from year five, uh, from four, sorry, hopefully I will learn the lessons in Moscow and make sure I can do like better, like with, without making the same mistakes in other cities. So I will visit the organizations like electronic stores and recycling stations in other major cities in Russia and um, set up those stations in those cities and start advertising in those cities so I can expand to throughout the whole Russia so people all over the country have this opportunity to get rid of their e-waste. and. Uh, my goals are, first of all, I want the project to be self-sustainable, meaning that the money I would make from um, selling the electronics parts on that website will be enough to cover all the expenses. And also, the another goal is to have the amount of stations in each city grow. So, for example, in Moscow, I'm hoping it number around 20 stations. and in other cities that are smaller, the smaller number. And also the number of cities involved in the project, I hope it will grow as well. So it's not just Moscow and like a couple other cities, but all the big cities in Russia. Yeah, so that's my cap and hopefully I will be able to do it in five years. Yeah. <laughs> So, anyone has any questions? Do you need to change the camera? No, great. We just need to turn this on. That's on, sorry. Oh, yes, okay. Um, thanks, Daniel. Uh, appreciate hearing that, and uh, I've enjoyed working with you as you've been developing your global action plan. Uh, I like that it's a, a nice and simple idea, yet there's really a lot of logistical complexity to what you're yeah, endeavoring sure. to do. Um, but I also really like how it's not just that logistical piece that you're wanting wanting success with, but you're actually talking about something more long-term fundamental in terms of the mindset of the population and what you're trying to work on there. So that's, that's a lot. <laughs> um, I want to focus in on just, just a couple of things. As, as you're talking about things and you're talking about sort of uh, like three levels of what you would do with the e-waste that you uh -huh. collect. Um, and one of those was um, the, the donation piece in, uh -huh. in, in, in you know, electronics that aren't necessarily completely retired but would be possible to repurpose to another group of people. Can you tell about who you would look to to actually donate those materials and a little bit about you know how you would go about that process. Well, as I mentioned before, I would try to like if there's a computer that is that somebody gave me, I will give it to like 
poor like schools and poor communities mm -hmm. that don't have access to those electronics. So probably like if somebody brings like I don't know like a blender or something, there's probably no need to donate it. But if it's actually something that is useful to those who are in need, then I will give it to them. So um, it will probably be more difficult to find like those areas around Moscow because all, like the majority of those poor communities are, if I go back to the map, um, like the, like all the people who live like in all this area, mm -hmm. they have really little access to those like electronics. So ideally it would be donating to them, but also it raises a lot of other logistical issues yeah. that I will have to solve. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's what like final plan is, but yeah. um, to I start with, I'll probably like donate it to people around Moscow okay. who need this. Yeah. I would suggest that with what you're trying to take on with this, that you don't try and do all of those yeah. pieces oh, yeah, yourself, sure. but try and find partners perhaps to work with who you could donate it to mm -hmm. them who would then look after yeah. the distribution sure. to rural areas or mm -hmm. as you're saying it could be to um, economically disadvantaged yeah. regions within Moscow as mm -hmm. well but uh, yeah I would suggest for that they actually sure. look to established organizations yeah. or groups who are already okay. working yeah, with sure. alright any other questions? questions from our other panelists um, I, I really enjoyed your presentation. Thank you. I found it really interesting. Thank you. Um, I guess my question is, like, university is a really busy time. Yeah. And so, like, what do you think is going to help you stay committed to your plan? Well, I hope, like, I'm really passionate about this, right? So, um, it's just, like, my interest in doing this, first of all. And... I know, like, I've already contacted people, so now it's just, I, like, I have the feeling that I have to continue, right? Yeah. Thanks. Um, again, excellent presentation. Um, there's definitely lots of things happening within mm -hmm. it, and I think one of your biggest um, challenges, and a big part of your time will be dedicated to getting the word out about some of mm -hmm. the initiatives. So how do you plan on sort of advertising? You said that, um, you wanted to have an ad campaign. So what does that look yeah. like? And who does it reach? Okay, um, I would like to address like people uh, who are first of all like, interested in these topics, right? So it's, I'm talking about some like uh, schools, tech clubs, or probably some technological companies. So, and like any like online communities that are about this topic. And I would, as I mentioned before, create like those videos and posters and um, make like posts on those online websites and also hopefully I will be able to come to talk to them if it's like a school tech club or a company. Yeah, so that's approximately how it looks like but I will need to work it out like more to make sure I know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. What changes in the mindset of Russians will you have to do in order to get Russians to sort of buy into this concept of donating electronics? Well, first of all, like the issue in Russia is that we don't really um, do recycling that much, so that's a big issue as well. So, like, I need to explain that, like, based on like facts, how much it affects our planet, and mm -hmm. that it's really important that we do it. And then I would also like focus on electronics and explain how much electronics harm our environment. And hopefully it will work. Thank you. you know, when we talked about uh, responsible action in our global leadership class, um, we talked about making sure we're considering those who are trying to help. And, and one of the things you mentioned in this, um, considering them to make sure we're doing more help than harm mm -hmm. along the way. Uh, and one of the things you mentioned in here uh, when you were talking about the um, components that go into the e-waste 
is how some of those components uh, in going through a recycling or dismantling process are harmful. Uh -huh. um, I wonder if you can talk a little bit about what the risks associated to that aspect of your global uh -huh. action plan would be and what you sort of thought about in terms of managing or mitigating those risks. Okay. Well, first of all, first when I was starting working on this project, I was considering to somehow try to approach this recycling part myself, but I realized that it involves like a lot of risks and it's not really going to work out that well as I would want it to be, so I've decided to contact this recycling center that actually specializes on it to like minimize the um, like what I will have to do with those electronics that like I the harm that they will cause like the res during the recycling process it won't really affect uh, me it's like it will be the recycling center's job so basically like all the risks that would uh, affect me is during those, like during separating those parts and just like working with electronics, I guess. So um, for that one, um, I guess there's nothing that really can be done to like absolutely get rid of this risk. It's just like being more careful and um, just be prepared for all the like possible bad situations. Yeah, obviously there's a bit more for yeah. to learn about that. Yeah. It's great to see that you're already mindful yeah. of that. Uh, any other questions? Yeah, yeah. Um, in your stations that collect electronics, who would be in charge of those? Okay, so um, for the, that's what I thought, like for the bigger stations, I would want to like have some volunteers who would be supervising them. Uh, that's something that I will have to talk to electronic stores about to see if like they can provide somebody or I will have to some find someone myself. But I think for the smaller stations, it would be like definitely possible to have like nobody supervising them. So it's just like a drop-off station. So if a person wants to like have an old phone, they just bring it and leave it, and then like once like every month or like sometime. I will need to figure it out. Somebody will come and take this e-waste and bring it to the like separating station. Any other questions? Okay, well look, I think we've put you through the grill yeah. enough there. Danil, thank you very much. <laughs> thank for you. Thanks for the presentation. Thank you. Thank you.